This is the system of spring. All the spring are of the same type. That means the force constant of all the spring is equal. And the question is about, we want to find the time period for the oscillation of this mass M if it is displaced towards A. That means if I displace it over here, then it will oscillate in this direction. It will perform simple harmonic motion and we want to find the time period for this simple harmonic motion. Let this mass M is displaced by distance x towards point A. Due to this, this spring, there will be some reduction in the length of this spring. As the length of spring is being changed, some restoring force will occur in this spring and the restoring force produced in this spring is minus kx. It is in this direction. As the contraction is there, the restoring force will be in this direction. As this mass is displaced over here, the length of these two springs will increase. But the increase in the length of these springs will not be same as the decrease in the length of this spring. So, the change in the length of these springs is not same as this x. That's why, let me call it x dash. The increase in the length of this spring is x dash. This is the same type of spring at the same angle. So, the increase in the length of this spring is also x dash. That's why some restoring force will be produced in these two springs. Let me write the restoring forces. This F dash is equal to minus Kx dash. And the restoring force in this spring is in this direction. F dash is equal to minus Kx dash. Let me clarify the direction of this restoring force. As the length of this spring is increased in this direction. That's why the restoring force is in this direction. Okay, fine. What is our target? We want to find the time period for the oscillation of this M. It is oscillating in this direction. So I want to find the net force acting on this mass in this direction. For that, we need to obtain the relation between F dash and F. For that, I have to derive the relation between X dash and X. I will represent this figure in a very simple way. This is a different type of geometrical representation. Let me draw this A. This point B. This point C. Let this length Y. Let this length L and this length be A. That means this distance is A that will remain constant throughout our discussion. This L represents this spring. That means the change in L will be same as the change in this spring. That means the change in L is the change in the length of this spring. That is x dash. Let me note this. Change in L, that is dL, is the change in the length of this spring. And that is x dash. As the length of this spring will change in our discussion, it is changing by x. The length of this spring will change by x. And this change in the length of this is also represented by the change in y. So change in y is the same as the change in this distance. And the change in this distance is nothing but x. So change in y is the change in the length of this spring that is x it is point O or mass is over here now 
we want to obtain the relation between this x dash and x this angle is theta this is the right angle I will apply Pythagoras law over here that is L square is equal to Y square plus A square I am differentiating this with respect to any variable so differentiation of L square is 2L but again the differentiation of L is DL differentiation of Y square is 2Y again the differentiation of Y is DY this A that means this length is A that is not changing it's a constant so differentiation of A is 0 I am dividing this equation by 2 so I will get L DL is equal to Y DY we have this DL is X dash DL is X dash and this DY is X ultimately we want the relation between x and x dash this x and x dash so I must obtain the relation between L and Y the relation between L and Y can be obtained with the help of cosine so here I will take cos theta is the length of adjacent side upon length of hypotenuse so Y is equal to L cos theta I will make use over here L x dash this y is L cos theta x is here L L cancelled so I am getting x dash is equal to x cos theta this is very important result we will preserve it now our aim is to get the relation between f dash and f I am writing this f dash f dash is minus k x dash now x dash is this x dash is x cos theta this x dash is x cos theta so, x dash is x cos theta ultimately I want to bring this f over here so that is minus k x cos theta and this minus k x is nothing but f so I am getting f dash is equal to f cos theta this is another important relation with your intuition with the help of this formula you can directly come over here so both are of the same type so you can write it directly at your level now what is our target? This mass M is oscillating in this direction. For this simple harmonic motion, we want to obtain the resultant force acting on this in this direction. That means, I want the resultant force in this direction. I will change this figure in terms of that. We want the net force in this direction in this direction the restoring force in this frame is F is in this direction so the restoring force acting on O is F is over there this is F the restoring force in this frame is F dash in this direction Restoring force in this spring is in this direction, this F dash. This mass M is oscillating in this direction, so I want the total force in this direction. That's why F is already there. The component of F dash in this direction, as this angle is theta, so the component of f dash in the x direction is f dash cos theta 
and the component of this f dash in this direction is also f dash cos theta. So that's why I should multiply by 2. So the net force in this direction is this much. We have displaced this m over here. This has come over here. So the resultant restoring force is in this direction. So this is the total restoring force acting on this mass when it is displaced by x. So F total is 2 F dash cos theta plus F. This is responsible for the motion in the x direction. This F dash. F dash is F cos theta. F dash is F cos theta. This cos theta is already there. Plus F. F, F common. I will take it common. So, I will get 2 times cos into cos cos square theta plus this has come out so there is 1 now we want the total force in the direction of x axis so I want some x over there f is equal to minus kx I will plug this over here f is equal to minus kx will be plugged here f is minus kx 2 cos square theta plus 1 I will change its format, this F total minus T times F. This equation is of very regular class. K times square time period for the whole thing. Let me revise the important topic, whatever I have considered here. All the three springs are having the same force constant. Both angles are theta. It is given in the question that this mass m is displaced by smaller distance towards A, then find its time period for the oscillation. So I have displaced this by distance x, so this spring is compressed by x, so restoring force in this spring is in this direction that I showed over here, this f. This and in this direction, so the restoring force is in this direction. Restoring force in this is in this direction that I showed over here. Our aim was to find the resultant force in the direction of x. So I took the component of f dash over here that is f dash cos theta. Component of this is also f dash cos theta. 
So the net force in this direction, then we make some manipulation and we got it. Let me show all this.